The modernized Ukrainian uncrewed surface vessels can now deliver nearly a ton of explosives over more than 1,000 kilometers. This means that the security service of Ukraine can target practically any point in the Black Sea, Artem Dektyarenko, spokesperson for the security service of Ukraine said this. Dektyarenko did not disclose all the technical specifications but noted that these are next-generation drones, on the improvement of which experts from the Security Service of Ukraine, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and other brothers-in-arms are working together. He mentioned that the current Sea Baby uncrewed surface vessel differs from the previous model in appearance and technical characteristics. In addition, it is capable of delivering almost a ton of explosives over more than 1,000 kilometers. Dektyarenko said there were no alternatives to the security service of Ukraine's attack surface vessels worldwide in 2022. Existing Western drones were large but not maneuverable, making them easily detectable by enemy's radar stations recall. In October 2022, uncrewed surface vessels of the security service of Ukraine attacked the Russian Black Sea fleet ships in Sevastopol Bay, damaging, in particular, the frigate Admiral Makarov in 2023. Uncrewed surface vessels of the security service of Ukraine struck the corvette Samum and Pavel Dirjavin, the tanker SIG, the landing ship Olenogorsky Gornyak, and damaged. The tugboat Professor Nikolai Muru and the latest reconnaissance and hydrographic ship Vladimir Kozitsky. A man has died and seven other people, including two children, are hurt after a pylon supporting cable cars collapsed in Turkey for an unknown reason. One of the supports of the tunic deep cable car fell and one of the moving cabins fell off. The cabin, in which there were eight people, hit an overturned pole and collapsed. People fell onto a rocky area, multiple medical teams and firefighters were sent to the scene. A helicopter was sent to evacuate people from other cabins. Point one person was killed and eight were injured. Anadolu Agency identified the deceased as a 54 year old Turkish man. The governor's office named Memis Gumas, a Turkish national, as the man who died in the incident and confirmed those who were injured were taken to hospital. Point two children were among the injured in the accident at the Tunic Deep cable car. Passengers in some of the facility's 35 other cable car pods were left stranded in mid-air as engineers battled to restart the system. The cable car carries tourists from Kanyualti Beach to a restaurant and viewing platform at the summit of the 618 meters Tunic Deep peak. It is run by Antalya Metropolitan Municipality.
Bakma. Anne. Aşağı gelince ara. Hadi ne bile. Bana bir dönem, bana dönem misin? Abi sen...